before performing maintenance on a pump. Be sure to read and follow the installation, operation, and maintenance manual. Follow the appropriate lockout, tagout, blockout procedures, and read and follow all safety tags. Failure to do so could result in injury or death. To replace a gland in a pump, you must first assemble the dry gland using a dry gland repair kit. After unboxing the dry gland repair kit, inspect all components for wear or damage. Cut open the epoxy package and, using the wooden applicator, extrude the epoxy from the package. Mix thoroughly. Apply epoxy to the outer rim of the hardware face. Place the O-ring on the outer rim of the hardware face, positioning the O-ring at the leading edge. Position the hardware face and O-ring into the gland adjuster. Using a slight twisting motion, carefully push the hardware face into the adjuster. Wipe off any excess epoxy. Place a heavy object on top of the assembly until dry. To insert the new dry gland into the pump, first switch off the power to the pump and lock the switch in the off position to ensure no power can get to the machine while replacing the gland. Remove the drain plug from the suction side of the pump, then disconnect the discharge hose from the top of the pump and disconnect the suction hose from the front of the pump. Remove the shaft guard. Attach an assembly aid arm to the eye bolt located at the top of the suction side casing. Remove the bolts from the suction side casing. Lift the casing away from the pump using the assembly aid arm. The liner should come out with the casing. Inspect the liner for wear or damage. Hold the shaft in place with a J wrench placed around the flat area between the gland and the flinger. Unscrew the impeller from the shaft. Reach inside the gland casing and pry the dry gland sleeve out. Insert a hard face protector, like a cardboard mailing tube, over the shaft to protect the hard face when removing the gland side casing. Attach the assembly aid arm to the gland side casing. Remove the bolts from the gland side casing. Lift the gland side casing from the pedestal using the assembly aid arm. Set the casing down, with the liner facing down and the gland facing up. Remove the bolts from the adjusting gland sleeve and remove the sleeve from the assembly. Remove the rubber spacers on the gland cover. Remove the bolts from the gland cover and remove the cover. Remove the gland seal. Unbolt the gland and remove. Install the new gland. Install the new gland seal. Bolt the gland cover onto the gland housing. Install new rubber spacers on the gland cover. Bolt the new adjusting gland sleeve to the gland cover. Attach the assembly aid to the eye bolt on the gland side casing and lift the casing back into place.
bolt the gland side casing to the pedestal. Fit the face seal and the O-ring to the dry gland sleeve. Slide the dry gland sleeve onto the shaft and through the casing into the gland assembly. Apply anti-seize to the impeller threads. Reverse the position of the J-wrench on the shaft. Screw the new impeller onto the shaft. Remove the J-wrench from the shaft. Use the assembly aid arm to lift the suction side casing back into place. Secure the casing with bolts, torquing to recommended specifications. Remove the assembly aid arm from the eye bolt. Replace the shaft guard. Reconnect the suction and discharge hoses, reinsert the drain plug, and restore power to the pump. For more information, contact McClanahan, 303-458-1000.